If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Welcome back. We're live on Radio Row. It is Super Bowl 43 in Tampa, and I got a guy here who made the memories happen. How do you walk in this building? How do you go through this city and not think about eight years ago, Ray Lewis? No, you, you, you actually don't walk through it and not think about it. You do think about it. That's all I can think but about. But the beauty of it is, <laughs> you know, the beauty of it is that's why you kind of understand when someone says it's something about being a champion because you will never forget that feeling. Never. I don't care what happens. What's so the you, first thing you think of when you no, think of here? Confetti. Confetti. That's it. <laughs> Absolutely. That's it. You know what I'm I mean, unless you fake a birthday boy. Right. But yeah. But man, and that's, and that's it for me, man. Just like, wow. Like, we really did it. We really did. Like somebody, because somebody's going to feel the other side of that Sunday. Somebody's going to feel like the world just came to an end. You see? Well, somebody, you know that feeling. It happened in Pittsburgh. Nah, no, that's not the feeling. Because you ain't even there. Somebody's gonna feel what it feels like to celebrate confetti being a world champion. That's a totally different thing. Right, that, that, that run for you guys in the playoffs, the Tennessee, the you know, the same things of 2000. Yeah. Tennessee, you go there, you you guys, you know, fight, battle, scratch, win the game late, and it looks like the same thing's gonna happen in Pittsburgh. I mean, that game was exactly the same as, as the Tennessee game. Yeah. I mean, right down to the wire. And, and, and all of them come, all, and all of them did kind of, you know, went the same way. You know, the whole year. And then it came down to always, whether whoever it was, it was always came down to make it one play in one of those games. And that's what happened, man. The bottom line is you got to play for 60 minutes. And they made a play. You know, that, see, those, those games, you're sick about a lot of other games, the ones you think you should have did this. But when you lose one like that, you just got to take it up under the chin. The same model I gave the guys all year. Win, lose, or draw. Let's give everything we got for 60 minutes, and let's see where we are. So the bottom line, that model played out. On that day, they were a better team. How hard is that hour after the game? How hard is the morning after the game? I mean, you know how hard the fans take it. And that's what I am, Ray. I'm a fan. Yeah. We talk to fans. All we're do Nobody out there is playing a game like you are, this listener right now. But we all clearly take it very hard. And, and as fans, I, I don't want to use the word hate, but I'll use the word whatever the sh just short of hate is. That's how we feel about Pittsburgh. Right. But I, we know you have relationships that go beyond that with players and that sort of thing. But losing to the Steelers adds a little extra something for the city. Yeah, I mean, I don't care who it is. Yeah, losing to anybody to go to the Super Bowl, hopefully you're going to hate them. Just what happened there, <laughs> during your conference. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line. But, you know, players, you don't get into that. You don't get into the hate thing. You get into more of the respect thing. Just like I told Lamar Whitney last night. Go touch glory. You know, go touch it. Man, you want to really, if you're a person who really want to better people, you really want someone else, if they're in that opportunity, which they beat you, it's like a man, fair and square, go touch glory. Go see what that confetti actually feels like. Because I can tell you, my day will never be forgotten the day I touched that confetti. And that's still really why, why I play the game the way I play the game. But hating all that too much, you know what I'm saying, overdrawn out. Bottom line is play the game, give it everything you got. Once you give it everything you got, be able to walk over to your head held high. Ray, as you go through this process that you're going through now over the next month from a business standpoint of evaluating where you're at, talk about the importance for you of and the balance of how much it weighs on you to play your whole career in Baltimore. And you're obviously aware of how much the fans and the organization want you to finish in Baltimore. Yeah, but, you know, for me, man, that's the thing with me. You know, that side of it, is, that's not my job. I've never done it for 13 years, you know. It's just, you know, so much out there in the air now, where it is, where that. It, it's never changed in my whole career, bottom line, how I've dealt with business. Anybody that's been around me knows that. I don't deal with contracts. I don't write contracts. I don't do none of that. So for me to selflessly say, oh, I want to be here. Oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. That's selfish. You know what I'm saying? When the bottom line is, that deal will be made behind closed doors. Whatever deal it is to be made. And the bottom line is, most people in this business, you definitely guys, can understand that. Stop putting your laundry out to everybody. You don't need to know. Everybody don't need to know what you're thinking. And right now, what I'm thinking, nobody needs to know that. I like to keep my thoughts to myself. I like to keep my thoughts between me and God. And whatever my future is going to be, is going to be bottom line. So will you say you want to be back in Baltimore? Because they said they want you back it, in Baltimore. It don't matter what they say. It don't matter what I say. But what I will tell you is, what I done said, I done said to God. And that's all I'm going to say. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.